Alrighty, we're out here on the range. Now, it's obviously a cold day. You can see snow everywhere. And I've got a new Mark V HD from Loophold 7 to 35 on my Seekins Havoc hit, Chamberton 6 GT. So we're here and these are gonna be the first shots. We're gonna get this rifle sighted in and I'm just gonna kind of show you the process. Don't think I have before. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and pull the bolt out and set that off to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my target down range. And we're just going to go ahead and get that lined up to where the barrel is pointing at the center of the target. So this is pretty much the way that I'm going to bore side it. And it helps if you take the scope caps out. And basically what I'm going to do is just essentially turn both turrets until where I am pointing and where I'm looking at through the barrel lines up with where I'm looking at on the target. So usually I'll do this a couple different times. I'll pick a, like maybe the corner of my target just so I get kind of an average of a couple different tries and that usually gets me quite close like now we're looking pretty good so we should be quite close now we're going to go ahead and slide our bolt back in and in this case i need to go ahead and my glove stuck in there Go ahead and close our stock and i'm going to go ahead and put the turret cap back on now interestingly enough we are now zeroed on our windage turret which is kind of weird but maybe the uh things were just perfect from the factory and, and now we're pretty much set up where we should be now i'm going to do as i get a little bit more use out of this scope we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit more about the scope video and things like that this is just going to be our initial sighting in the rifle basically and how we do that here on the channel so now that we've got things pretty well dialed in i'm gonna go actually go put up the paper on the target and we're gonna come over and shoot and um i'll show you guys how close we hit and things like that and then we'll go ahead and get her zeroed and probably shoot a five shot group just for fun as you can tell the gun looks a little different i added a couple mdt weights some of my stuff came in from the black friday sale MDT elite set of rings to mount this scope and also some uh, uh, Spiked feet for my Atlas bipod here, but again, we'll talk about some of that stuff a little bit later The point of this video is just to go ahead and get the rifle sighted in so I'll be back in a second All right, so got the camera set up and the target set up and hopefully we're pretty close there with our zero uh, We're gonna find out here um, this is a uh, h4350 and 105 Botel hollow point. Uh, you'll see the load up on the screen here. We shot it before. It shot about a half inch before. Um, we'll probably end up shooting a five shot group today. Now this is off of uh, a bipod and things, so we may not be quite as tight, but hopefully it's a pretty good group. All right, so first shot here. Gun is cold. First shot's through the scope. It is cold outside today. We're going to go for that middle dot on the target. All right, first shot here. See where it hits. All right, not used to this trigger. I've been shooting my savages. So, and not to mention my fingers are numb, but we did hit the target. So that's good. We were a little low into the right. Hopefully that was a pretty decent shot. So I've got that a mil and a half low. So let's go a mil and a half up. And we are just under two mils to the right. So I need to move, let's call it 1.8 left.
So there's 1.58. All right. So we should be pretty close. And hopefully I could do a better job with the trigger pull there. And we're right on target, but I kind of messed that one up. So hopefully we're close with this second one. Must have made a decent trigger pull because we're pretty much right on there. And scope's obviously tracking decent, which is good. Gonna go ahead and shoot another one. It came up a little higher, didn't it? <laughs> Tell you what, you know what? I got my bags here. Let's uh. Let's shoot these other three off the... I'm just not quite as steady as I'd like to be with that bipod. Even with the spikes on there, it's not quite as steady. Alright, it also could be me shivering, I guess, because it's so cold. Alright, these other three, we're going to go at the target on the left. Um, I think we're pretty close on our scope. I'm going to go down just two clicks because it seems like we're going just a bit high all right so we're going to go ahead and do another three shotter and see if we're sighted in okay so i guess we didn't need to do those clicks for adjustment but it's all right doesn't really matter anyway So still need some practice off the bipod, clearly. Which we all knew that if you've been watching the channel at all. Yeah, so I'm still way more consistent off the bags. But anyway, um, scope sighted in, pretty darn close. Seems to be shooting pretty well. It is more power than what I'm used to, so I'm gonna have to get used to that, which I can always turn it down, but got her zeroed in. Now we'll go back in and I'll show you how we're gonna zero the turrets. All right, so now that we've got the scope pretty well zeroed, we need to go ahead and kind of slip the scale so then they say zero. Um, we ended up at, what, two there on our um, elevation dial, and we're gonna use the Allen that was included with the optic to go ahead and, I think there's three of these, this is the first time I've done this, but looks like it's pretty simple. So there's two, and I believe there's one on the other side too. Actually, no, there's just two there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that, that zero stop pop out, uh, make sure that it's zeroed, which obviously it is, and go ahead and Tighten these two little Allens down. So you don't need much force. These are just, I'm guessing these are just aluminum caps. So we don't need to strip anything out here. And just snug both of those up. And now we should be pretty well, pretty well zeroed. So again, We'll do a video on the optic once I have it a little longer and we get to use it, but now we should be able to basically just push that button and dial up. And we get a little bit below as well. And I'm kind of curious how much we're gonna get now that we're zeroed. So there's 15, 17. So we're really only getting 17 mils of elevation once zero and this hit has a 20 MOA rail. So I'm kind of surprised we don't we don't get more than that 
I mean, that should be plenty for what I'm going to use it for. Uh, 17 mils probably gets me... I don't know, I'd have to do the math. I'll throw up on the screen using my competition load how much 17... 17 point, whatever that is there. Mills gets us, but should be plenty. And we're back at zero there. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip things around and we'll zero the windage turret. All right, so moving on to the windage turret here. It is capped. And we ended up, what, two mils to the left and I believe this one adjusts the same way so just well, maybe here hit that one first those are pretty tight or at least the bottom one was there okay and so go ahead and I will loosen both of those and I assume there's just two nope that one's got three Okay, so now that we've broken that one, those two loose, we're gonna go ahead and line it up and it seems like we can line it up wherever we want. So let's get it where we're happy with it to be lined up with zero there. Now, I probably won't mess with the windage unless we need to change it for load or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those three down. Let's see if I can find that one on the bottom. And we're going to be pretty well set. So now we've got um, both the windage and the elevation turrets. The scale slipped. Go ahead and spin our cat back on. And now we're going to be ready to hit the range. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I've ever showed how I sight guns in. And with the new optic, it was the perfect opportunity to try that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys look forward to seeing some of the new components on the Seekins Havoc kit here. And uh, we'll see you next time.